According to the fundamental law of mathematics, 0 to the power any number is equal to 0. On the other way around, any number to the power 0 equals 1. But why 0 to the power 0 equals 1? What's the reason behind of it? Have you ever been thought about why 0 to the power 0 equals 1? Well, um, I will show you a step by step solution why 0 to the power 0 equals 1. My name is Roby, I am an educator and filmmaker. If you are new in my channel, I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel. It will help me to make better qualityful content in future. As I told you before, any number to the power 0 is equal to 1. And 0 to the power any number is equal to 0. If we combine these two mathematical statements together, we will get 0 to the power 0 is equal to 1. This is the simplest explanation that I can give you. But I want to give you detailed explanation step by step why 0 to the power 0 is equal to 1. That I am going to explain now here in, in this chart. So what's um, I'm gonna to do let's consider 1 to the power 1 if you use your calculator it means 1 I'm reducing this power as 0 0.9 to the power 0 0.9 if you use your calculator you can see the 0 0.9 to the power 0 0.9 is 0 0.9095 and there are some other numbers I'm considering the only four digit after the point and then I'm using again I'm reducing this value to 0 0.8 to the power 0 0.8 this value is 0 0.8365 and so on and then I'm writing 0 0.7 to the power 0 0.7 which is 0 0.7790 look at here the number is reducing the value is reducing right interesting part is coming don't go 0 0.6931 look at here I started 1 to the power 1 equals 1 and then I reduce the value 0 0.4 to the power 0, 0 0.4 and then this value is gradually reduced until here so if I reduced this power again on more further step what will happen let's say 0 0.3 to the power 0 0.3 if you use your calculator it will be 0 0.6968 and some other numbers as well similarly 0 0.2 to the power 0 0.2 it will be 0 0.7247 now here now, this value is reducing until here and then again it's increasing interestingly I'm going on more further step 0.4 times 0 0 0 0 0 1 to the power 4 times 0 0 0.0001 0 0 that means 0 0.9998 and so on if you convince your calculator you will see after a certain step of this power it will be 0 0.0000000 and dot 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 and so many zero is zero to the power zero equals one that means this value equals to zero I can say zero to the power zero equals one interestingly look at here from this point to that point number is gradually decreasing from here to here but for this part power value is increasing from this point to that point so what's exactly happened here if i draw a um, figure like this way let's say this is power x axis is power and y axis is value this is one and if i put here 0 0.4 then it is like this way that means I started from here and it's gradually decreases exactly this point that means this point is here and that point is here similarly if I draw this graph it will be like this way it's gradually increasing how increasing I started here 0 0.3 0 0.3 and this value was 0 0.6968 0 0.6968 and 
if I decrease the power then this value is gradually increases up to 1 if I combine together it will be like this way power is x axis is power and y axis is the power value so as I told you I start from 1 I start from 1 so it is gradually decreases first it's gradually decreases until this point look at here I started from 1 and power is gradually decreases so value also decreases from 1 to 0 0.693 on 0 0.693 on let's say this point and then again I'm decreasing this power from here to here I'm decreasing decreasing and interestingly this value is increasing that means it is increasing like this way that means this is the graph of 0 to the power 0 equals 1 I hope you understand what exactly happens what's the reason behind of 0 to the power 0 equals 1 um, if you have any question about this video or about these topics you can feel free to ask me in the comment section I will be happy to reply your answer wait 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 don't don't go I have a bonus video for you do you know you can multiply any number by 11 within 5 seconds let's say you multiply 16 by 11 within 5 seconds you can multiply it unbelievably very quickly how does it possible right well write this one one hand side and write this six on another hand side and then add these two digits one plus six is seven yes 176 is the answer of 11 times 16 this is very simple let's practice one more thing let's say 11 times 17 so apply the same thing here write this one one hand side keep some certain distance and write this seven another hand side and add these two digits seven plus one is eight yes 187 is the answer of 11 times 17 you can calculate it by using your calculator and check it whether it is correct or not let's say 11 times 12 apply the same rules write one here write two here and two plus one is three yes 132 is the answer okay then practice one more thing 11 times 19 how does it possible right then write 1 here 9 here and then 9 plus 1 is 10 in this case I have to apply something different 10 means I have to write this 0 here and carry is 1 1 carry is here so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 and then 0 here and the 9 is here that means 11 times 19 is 219 yes this is the answer the numbers above 19 and below 11 that doesn't work according to this formula that means you can multiply any number between 11 to 19 by this formula thank you so much for watching this video